गुड मॉर्निंग कल्याणी या वी स्टार्टेड विद द रिकॉर्डिंग एंड लेट अस इमीडिएटली स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक दैट वी हैड स्टॉप्ड एट यस्टरडे विद अ बिट ऑफ रिवीजन बट लेट मी अगेन टेल यू ऑल दैट द सिचुएशन इज वेरी वेरी बैड एज फार एज द पैंडेमिक इज कंसर्न uh while we speak about human geography and human systems as such you would see that uh, the the conditions that we are having as far as medical systems are concerned is seriously every day uh at least i am getting information about some near dear one uh say say falling prey to this deadly uh, pandemic virus that we have around us so it's but more are everybody that most responsibility to be uh, absolutely careful uh, with our own um, processes as well as uh, we have to be very careful with the health of our uh, near and dear ones please stay away from crowd and sanitize your hands you wear a mask physical distancing these once seem to be very basic things but now they have come taken to be a very serious turn and uh, we have to be we have to get very serious about uh, all these things okay just like the chief minister said the other day that uh, yes we could rake up the facilities okay but as far as the provisions are concerned say for example he said that okay i can come up with hospital beds and at times we could come up with ventilators and uh, at oxygen all of this is again at a shortage now but you you can rake up all these things but what am i going to do if i am going to fall short of medical uh, people paramedics okay in the sense the nurses and the ward boys and doctors doctors india is already at a very serious deficit of doctors and you'll see that it's obvious with other paramedics also so the best thing is to avoid all these things happening uh, uh, and 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 be as far as you can from these these things around you okay let us just pray to god we may believe in god or not but conditions have come to such level that you just have to pray and uh, try and believe that uh, it does not get any more worse uh, for for us for the for for the near and dear ones around us and of course the country and the world of course not all all these is connected in a system speaking about systems we start with what we spoke about yesterday the uh, the the, pres- the facts of human geography that jobru uh, speaks about in his uh, uh, in his study where he divides them into groups and how he refers to as those uh, destruction of uh, the the natural resources and so on and so forth and uh, while we spoke about domestication uh of animals and other aspects of destructive occupation of the soil um uh, i i don't know how many of you all are aware of uh, this new thing uh, which has been in fashion that's culling c u l l i n g uh, wherein in areas wherein uh, the 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 a, a population of a particular animal tends to increase beyond a particular limit and it tends to get harmful uh you will see that local governments take a decision of culling these animals uh, as such this started with uh, australia particularly this is practiced in thailand also thailand uh, with reference to the elephant population there it is believed that thailand has a very high hel- elephant population and uh, australia in fact has a very high rabbit population and there is there is this very unfortunate story that goes with the rabbit population that it was the europeans particularly the english people who carried the rabbit as a pet animal to australia i remember from a a a natural system of europe or england i would say uh, it it landed into a very unnatural condition and uh, while it was being preyed upon by foxes and wolves and uh, uh, and and hawks in in around england uh, it found itself to be in a very a uh, naive environment with no predators and uh, as we all know okay, that uh, rabbits belong to a rodent the rodent family and rodent family has a very uh, very very obvious history of uh, 
reproducing at a very very fast rate and uh, with with a few hundred years of its existence and without any uh, predator as such the rabbit population multiplied many many times to such an extent that the last couple of couple of decades or more the population has gone berserk and uh, you'll see that counties in various parts of australia it has been harming the agricultural produce and uh, various areas so uh, a decision was taken that uh, they literally shoot down uh, rabbits uh, a very unfortunate thing uh, but it is so and uh, uh, as i said that thailand does it with uh, the population of uh, elephants also okay so uh, over domestication or i would rather say uh, moving animals from their natural environment to an unnatural environment eventually harming the whole systems wherein uh, at the end of it you, it 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 is the population of that particular animal who suffers now uh, any humanistic question would be that if you are culling rabbits if you are culling Uh, elephants because of an excessive number of population uh, how about uh, human population is a huge question mark that uh, of course culling is not an option but then why are we not controlling our numbers as far as human populations are concerned and uh, without doubt you'll see that these were the things that jobru uh, brings to light but as we did towards the latter part yesterday that uh, uh, we eventually had uh elsworth uh, huntington who brought about the basic elements of uh, uh human geography and uh, he divides them into various parts and uh, since yesterday i was just working on this slide okay yesterday if you remember i had just the central part of it and uh, to to have a, a a better understanding of it i thought of uh, putting a, a, a few images from the net so that uh, uh, we all know that with with all these numbers and uh, titles in the textual format it gets very difficult to remember and keep in mind all of them so i thought that a pictorial representation of all of them could help us okay now how does huntington view the elements of physical geography he obviously says that uh, as far as physical geography is concerned uh, sorry human geography is concerned it is connected with uh, the physical conditions and what are these physical conditions uh, these physical conditions obviously start with uh, uh, the earth itself the earth as a globe and then we go to various uh, spheres of the earth in the sense you have the land forms the water bodies of course the soils and minerals in that and of course the climate i purposely used this particular thing about the climate uh because uh, we all know that uh, the climate of the earth is uh, under a great danger of being uh, of of pollution and other aspects so while these are uh, the basic things and the physical things okay of uh, the environment around us okay you'll see that uh, when we speak about human responses in all these aspects as such uh we can divide them into various sections in the sense uh, we can divide them into a few basic needs and uh, we have been speaking about that uh, since yesterday that uh, uh, from here the first one to the left of your corner uh, food is one basic thing and uh, uh, very interestingly i i would like to make this observation in front of you all that uh, while i was searching for these uh, uh, cartoons on uh, images on food i would say that the uh, google images were flooded with uh, various images of these but i would i i could roughly say that 90% of them 90% of them while i was going through them i had a very difficult time fetching on this particular thing that you can see towards the extreme left of your screens uh, which shows all natural products it shows uh, a watermelon and a mushroom and a strawberry and a carrot and what not a brinjal as well and an apple also and uh, but you you can even you even you can try this you go to google and look for uh, cartoons of cartoon images of food stuff and uh, you'll see that 90% of what is put in front of you happens to be related to fast food it is either a a a, a cold drink or it is either a burger 
or it is some fries and most of these actually are combination of all of this okay in one tray you will have a burger you will have a fries and uh, you will have a cold drink as such okay so uh, that is what now what what i'm coming to is basically that is what human beings want to see on the net and they are posting on the net and that's why probably i had a serious time i had to actually literally search for 3 to 4 minutes to get the best of the slides to which could represent food and uh, uh, obviously did not show uh, it's not showing drinks but then foods and drinks uh, in the form of water is a, a, a basic need i would say as far as human beings are concerned then we come to clothing and you'll see that as far as clothing images also are concerned it's more a commercial view that you would see on the on uh, on the net as such shelter uh, you'll see such houses okay you'll see that this is something that is these three things roti kapda and makan is uh, something that we look into as basic requirements okay and in human systems as such then uh, tools now again uh, when i was referring to tools uh, there were two types of tools uh, Uh, tools of uh, i would say uh, primitive human beings but then uh, because of their limitations and i thought that uh, this would be a better representation of uh, what we should be understanding uh, the the requirement of tools but let me tell you these are modern tools okay uh, we have to understand that underliningly that these are going to be modern tools the uh, year actually it means various tools that have been used by man in the process of uh, evolution okay then the next thing that uh, man requires is transportation i found this on the net various types of transportation uh, from bulk to individual and passenger to uh, freight transport and uh, rapid transport systems okay and and various modes of transport uh, air water and uh, land transport as well uh of course rail transport also rail and road as such okay so this is about uh, uh, the the means of transportation okay uh, however i would i would have put this okay, or or probably the um, photograph or the clip or or rather the image that i have put does not actually again represent what means of transportation means in the primitive sense also you'll see that primitive transportation could include uh animals being used for transportation animal portrayage and even human portrayage human beings carrying goods from one place to the other i have uh put the most modern forms of transport but let me tell you that there is going to be a phase before this wherein we were using uh other means of transport which were slower bulkier as well then coming to uh, these major activities we i didn't mention about it yesterday also that uh, eventually we are going to do them in detail uh, having said that uh, just a moment huh? i don't know whether i have pinned the image to the screens if i have not i would better pin it for you all so that you have a larger no i had not pinned it so yes okay now i can carry on and uh, yes coming to these things that we would be eventually doing as uh, various activities of human beings hunting okay again i i i thought that the present generation would require a a, a better picture to be uh, remembering it as an activity of but then once again uh, i would say hunting has been a very long process the a uh, thing that you see in front of you is a very modern form of hunting you'll see that the person is uh, uh, very uh, very professionally dressed as far as hunting is concerned he has a hunter dog with him and uh, possibly i i don't know and and again you'll see that this is something that uh, tends to affect you uh, to such an extent that uh, um what i'm referring to is the fact that if you see this individual in uh the hunting gear okay he has a binocular and of course he has these bullets uh, in his bullet belt and of course he has a shotgun with him okay and all that gear for hunting is ready he has a tent put up behind him okay all dressed for hunting but then primitive human beings were uh, not that dressed and uh, not that advanced as far as hunting is concerned something that we have to remember but what i 
immediately struck to me is that if you see the face of this particular individual, I believe that uh, the photograph is of a bearded individual. But since for the last year or so, we have been so much engrossed in this pandemic around that uh, at, at a point of time, I thought that possibly this individual is wearing a mask and he's pulled down the mask for the purpose of getting himself photographed as uh, as such. So that's an interesting observation I would I would make here okay, that how a particular thing happening around you uh, sets up your mind or your or, or, or tunes your mindset in such a way that uh, uh, you you start th seeing things which actually are playing at the back of your mind. Okay, I hope things just return to normalcy. Uh, at, at the earliest okay in fact i was reading an article about various types of viruses and uh, it, it it had a paragraph where it said that down the lines here around three years four years five years after this particular strain of virus has completed its uh, uh, cycle i would say uh, and 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 it has eliminated the weaker of the human population uh, it would remain to be amongst the stronger of the people left at some point of time down in the future. It would it would just be another simple type of cold, cough, and fever uh, infection uh, uh, infection as such. Okay, and uh, I, I would like to reflect this. And in fact, when we come to that, when we are speaking about population, the Malthusian theory and the demographic model, how in the Malthusian theory, Malthus speaks about nature controlling population numbers okay i would say uh, the present scenario around us is nothing else than uh, nature trying to uh, rebuild the health and strength of uh, the human population around it okay we have built up so uh, so so rigid i would say medical systems around us that we are trying to protect each and every individual but then uh, as Darwin says, it's the survival of the fittest. And uh, until and unless you are immune to these things happening around you, your immunity is strong, you would have a fair chance of falling prey to uh, this this virus and get, being infected. And at times it could prove fatal also. Well, after hunting, the next thing that man is related to is fishing. Uh, of course, fishing at various scales, okay, from an, uh, say, say, a pleasure, sort of a thing to earning and livelihood livelihood out of it okay from a single line fishing to net fishing and of course trawl line fishing uh, we probably would go into the details of that activity also but at an individual level uh, i would say hunting fishing and then herding is something that uh, uh, would we would have to understand again that uh, uh, putting animals together domestic domesticating animals and then putting them together for the purpose of extracting various animal products from these individuals. Okay, so that's about herding. And then we come to farming. You can see here that farming is uh, again a major activity even today, even in the 21st century, a significant number of population is uh, dependent on farming. And we have spoken about farming and agriculture that though we classify it as an activity very near to nature as such, uh, the present farming is much, much different to the initial and primitive type of farming uh, when man started into uh, actually cultivating uh, select seeds uh, for the purpose of uh, uh, grains and other acts as such. After farming, we have lumbering. Yesterday, somebody was asking me about lumbering. And uh, it's basically cutting down and chopping down of trees and using the wood for various purposes commercial and otherwise okay, using it as firewood initially it started as firewood and then we started using it for constructional purposes and decorative purposes and that was one of the reasons why uh, you will see that uh, in the last few centuries the the the, the cover of uh, forests in different parts of the world even the densest of the forests have gone down uh, significantly because uh, the rate at which we are exploiting the wood has been very very fast okay so that's lumbering for us and then you have mining it's exploitation of uh, i would use the word jobru used exploitation of uh, uh, resources in the form of minerals okay through various types of uh, mineral activities as such uh, uh, mining activities sorry as such 
and then you have manufacturing okay you'll see that all these that we have been listing till here from number uh, let me say 6 that you can see on your screen up to 11 all of these would be classified as what you have what you may have learned at an earlier class also these can be classified as primary activities though uh, they may not actually reflect to be primary activities with the type of cartoon images that i have used here but uh, these are primary activities because this activity is directly in connection with the nature supposed to be directly in connection with the nature and you'll see that all oh, these activities yield you out raw materials which are then processed and this processing is called as manufacturing this is the secondary type of activity and then you move ahead to commerce okay again when you when i searched for commerce cartoons on the on, on google as such okay you'll see that such types of uh, things came up more than any other i was looking for some other commerce uh, cartoons but invariably what i saw okay once again at least at least 60 to 70 percent of the images you had these words in the form of sale and then 30 percent or 50 percent off and uh, these various commodities like you see a shoe here okay i i am interested in how okay now this is this is uh, uh, something which is created as a uh, net material by someone and then it is posted on the net right so you'll see an individual here and she's using a uh, a computer here and uh, she's she's actually searching for a sale and uh, let me tell you in uh, you can again try this just as i said you can do it for food stuff so you can do it do this for commerce uh, cartoons also and uh, you would see invariably uh, at least six out of ten of these would have this word sale and off written here and there okay and e-commerce okay what i wanted to say is uh, related to e-commerce as such yeah, because that is the in thing for the day and so obviously you would expect a large number of uh, such cartoons to be seen on the net uh, also so that's uh, uh, another observation that one could make uh, with these things and then after commerce you come to health and uh, i would say that these would be the best times that uh, we should be speaking on health uh, I, I I did refer to it at the start of the lecture, but again coming back to the fact that uh, health has been a major issue, uh, uh, and it's 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 got to be a serious issue now. But it has been a major issue. Okay, uh, now health and medic health issues and medical issues. Let me tell you, uh, would be at uh, I I would like to go into each of these points at a bit of detail, so you give you a a, a broader picture. Okay, because normally when we speak about human geography. Uh, one would only speak about the list that you see, the list of 21 items that you see. And uh, you'll see that gradually we have, we have been moving from one, before I come back to health, we have been moving from one to the other. Okay, you'll see that material needs A would include A, B, uh, one, two, and three. You'll see that fundamental occupations with the use of number four will lead to five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, and then sorry <coughs> various types of occupations further specializing in other occupations will lead to mining manufacturing and the modern modern times of occupation that we have seen here e-commerce and then all, all of this okay like right from number uh say say five to number 13 you would say uh the performance of all of this would depend on a major factor and that's efficiency okay so that's how we move further and efficiency is based on a few things okay now this is human geography and that's why you're speaking about human beings i'm not speaking about efficiency of trade and efficiency of manufacturing you're speaking about efficiency levels of human beings and uh, you'll see that health uh, comes to be a major part unless and until you have a healthy uh, population you'll see that the outputs are not going to be uh, uh, well desired as such and health and medical issues uh, as i just said are two different uh, or i would say subsectors of a major section as such okay uh, when i say health i could divide health into various aspects i would say uh, two two basic aspects to be very pointed okay that's that's physical health of an individual and as you can see in the cartoon it's it's mental health okay you'll see that invariably uh, and in conditions like uh, the the pandemic that we have around us and that we are in a we can see this lockdown as well. You'll see that mental health tends to be very stressful 
कि इफ यू आर नॉट इन गुड मेंटल हेल्थ दीज कंडीशन है वेरी स्ट्रेसफुल एंड दिस वुड यील्ड अदर मेडिकल इश्यूज इन देंस दैट इफ यू कीप ऑन गेटिंग स्ट्रेस्ड विद ऑल दैट दैट इज हैपनिंग अराउंड अस and uh, if this stress is not released it starts the mental stress starts affecting your physical organs as such ke you you un- unfortunately start feeling that you are physically ill also and uh, that would lead to uh, various problems in the sense your organs may may start minorly dysfunctioning which could aggravate in the sense uh, you 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 would be uh, facing uh, problems like uh, uh, you would unnecessarily say say be led into a feeling that you are either very hungry or you are not hungry these are signs of medical st- uh, mental stress i would say so you would either eat too much and because of no exercise and no movement you could go into uh, obesity or you could refrain from eating and as a consequence Uh, you could have the other extreme of problem as far as physical health is concerned so it needs to be a right balance uh it needs to be striking a right balance and it's only the mental as far as the phys- and as well as the physical health of your population is fine that your human resources are going to be efficient and they're going to be more productive uh, as such otherwise you are going to be using all your savings and earnings in in spending for uh, medical expenses as such okay and one thing that brings up your uh, efficiency one thing and secondly the uh, say say your medical uh, mental health also is point number 16 and i would say 17 as well together i don't think i got i i i forgot to get a cartoon on cultural stimulus now cultural stimulus would be uh, different aspects i'll come to that before <clears throat> that let me finish with recreation Okay, you see that recreation equally tends to be a very important aspect of efficiency. Okay, and you'll see that that is reflected. Uh, say till around ten, fifteen years ago. Okay, uh, I don't know whether I've shared this with you all, but uh, uh, I've not been with SP College, though I have. I've been a student of SP College. I was in SP College from nineteen ninety to nineteen ninety three, and of course, I did my PhD also from the Geography Department, SP College. But ninety five. i got him uh, my job as a teacher in mumbai and i was uh, in mumbai for around 15 years from 1995 to 2010 it was in 2010 jan uh, that i joined sp college and i've been in sp college since and because i i always i, I was a pakka i have been a pakka punekar and i always wanted to come back i did not have any intentions to stay back in mumbai and uh, as a consequence uh, i was always on a lookout for for to come back uh, an opportunity to come back in pune having said that that gave me an opportunity to study the human systems in mumbai and a few observations with this regard okay and and i would say that this has started happening in pune also but then uh, this is something that i observed in mumbai way back in uh, the the in in the years around 2000 as well okay wherein these things were not at all being discussed or practiced at a very meager level in pune Okay, you see that uh, the the systems in Mumbai are so stressed, and uh, again, no better than the present conditions to understand these systems around uh, around us. You see that uh, while something initiates in Pune, and for a significant period of time, okay, it 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 starts, it keeps on happening in Pune because Pune is again moving in that particular direction. But my observation, even last year and this year. it would be that the initial cases of corona started coming up in pune they grew initially in pune but then the burst came from mumbai okay similarly you'll see that the second wave also initiated from pune yes the numbers initially are high in pune even today but i would say that uh, fingers crossed I, i i just pray that this should not happen but i see that in 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 time to come in a, in a few days from now if it is not controlled numbers in mumbai would be very very large uh, and in fact i would rather say this is this has already started being seen in delhi uh, wherein yesterday's numbers were beyond 5 15000 okay so what i'm referring to is given the size of mumbai given the population that it hosts okay the population is nearly 2 crores i would say the mumbai metropolitan region if you would say say that Okay, you'll see that the systems are very much stressed, and people also are stressed. And you'll see 
uh, I'll, I'll give you a glimpse of what those who are from Mumbai would, uh, or at some point of time in their life have been in Mumbai, uh, would agree with me that the systems are so stressed and people are traveling from Monday to Friday in those packed locals. I have been a part of it for 15 years, but that was one of the reasons I wanted to come back to Pune, that uh, traveling through those packed locals was, was a very difficult time. And I, I always hated doing that, okay? though I got accustomed to it and I learned the tricks and tricks of the trade of getting into a local and getting a window seat. These are coveted things okay? in, in, uh, in, in uh, the Mumbai scenario, I would say. Okay? Window seat, I would say, is something okay, that only small kids would imagine for. But the stuffiness of the, uh, say, say the, the crowd that gets into the train and the humidity, particularly during these months of April, May, June, okay, you'll see that you always see long to be sitting uh, near the uh, windows of a, a train, a local train as such. And uh, another example, okay, now since uh, I, I'm, I'm to come back to recreation, but then since it, it has struck me, uh, you'll see that the distances with, by the way, I think uh, day before yesterday, today is what? Today is the 17th of April. Anyone has any references to 16th of April? 16th of April, what was it? I know it was a Friday and it was yesterday. But then um, you, you could just gauge around what I was referring to and it has suddenly struck to me. Uh, what, it, what, what should it be? 16th of April. Uh, well, let me not waste much time and let me tell you that 16th of April was the day wherein the first of uh, first train ran in Mumbai between Mumbai CST and Thane. Okay, so that was the happy birthday of the Indian Railways as such. Of course, not known as the Indian Railways then, but eventually all the nationalization has put it together, being called as the Indian Railway. Uh, well, so uh, you'll see that as the distances grew and at, at the present rate, uh, you see that the distances are as long as, uh, 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 say, near, nearing 100 kilometers, because I know that it's around uh, 90 kilometers from CST to Karzat, and uh, the same thing on uh, Titwala side. And of course, this side also, it comes all the way to Panvel and beyond Panvel into uh, these, uh, all these locals travel more than 50, 60 kilometers at an average, and people are traveling all this. And I saw that towards the latter part of my stay in Mumbai, uh, I, I used to see this practice that uh, people, uh, say for example, I'll give you a few names uh, and that should strike a chord with you that on the Western Railway, uh, you have Church Gate and uh, Borivli is around 34 kilometers from Church Gate and Virar is around 60, 70 kilometers from Church Gate as such. So, uh, in these full locals, you had these groups. Okay, so that is again a form of a human system. That, uh, in 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 fact, it's it's very funny. But then, in fact, you'll see that there were groups who used to hang, uh, say, uh, say who used to hang at the doors of these uh, uh, local trains. If you have seen the movie Wednesday, you would recollect that. But then uh, it, uh, there would be groups who would be together for a particular area, and they would be having their uh, 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 snacks together and uh, then you have these bhajan mandalis also so socialization so man tries to f find out ways in which he could be happy within those systems okay, those trains uh, those who those who have been through those trains will agree with me those who have not let me tell you that's a very difficult thing that used to happen okay you'll see that overflowing trains and packed with people and in that they would be playing cards of course uh, eventually, cards were banned, paying cards were banned, and uh, railways had to come up with uh, uh, special squads who would find, pe find people uh, playing cards on train because playing cards, people used to block their spaces and there, was, there used to be no space to stand. Uh, so uh, that's one thing. I, I'm, I'm giving you examples and Mumbai would be the best example uh, because I have been and I've studied it uh, objectively. Uh, for nearly 15 years put together. Uh, I could give you examples of human systems working and not working from Mumbai itself. So having all said all these things, okay, you have groups within that and you'll see that these groups would exchange places and, and, and you'll see that even if you are standing very near to an empty seat, 
in a mumbai local train if you are not known to that particular group you will not be able to get that seat because they'll exchange that seat within them that's one thing that's okay people with it no you know people and you exchange seats then even if you are not known to people okay if you are coming from virar okay you would have to uh, and you are sitting in the train you would be required to stand up at andheri and give give a place to uh, someone who has been standing from borivli so these again were some uh, say say unwritten rules and laws which i uh, uh, came across as far as these mumbai trains are concerned now i i told you all this basically because of the fact that an observation that came to me in early 2000 2001 2005 that with all these stress just imagine you have you have to run you have to come out of your house and and again uh, just one example before i go ahead to completing the point on recreation that uh, as far as coming to the sense of time is concerned if you speak about it uh, in 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 the conditions in pune Uh, you would be speaking in terms of art vasta betu no vasta betu okay and uh, what sade no vasta betu if you go to a more relaxed place and you would say you would be meeting people and they would say that okay let's meet in the evening let's meet in the afternoon okay the sense the scale of time okay which is again scale is something that we study in geography and that scale and on the other hand if you go to mumbai and you you speak to people in the sense of time and scale of time they would say they would say that okay i am going to leave my house at 8:32 and i have an 838 bus to catch which is going to leave me at the railway station at around 94 uh, which will make me uh, catch the local train of 98 and i should reach church gate at around 1014 and uh, i would be in my office by around 1035 he would not say 1030 he would say 1035 so the micro level at which they use the scale of time is is very interesting so all this stressful thing the more micro level you go all of this is stressful because you see that if i don't leave my house at 833 i'm going to miss my bus at 8 of 837 and i'm going to miss my train okay and it's not about missing the train and the time as such it's it's missing your whole social group and and, and uh the time then how are you going to spend your time because you are accustomed to spend your time with your group okay because traveling from uh, say let us say borivli to uh, uh church gate in an slow train could take anywhere around 1 hour uh, one hour so how are you going to spend your time because you can't read you can't relax in that group so all of this is going to have a huge stress on you and you would look for relieving yourself of your stress whenever you get an opportunity and you will see that for mumbai cars this uh, this opportunity used to be uh, the weekends okay so you'll see that come friday and friday afternoon onwards you'll see that the mumbai cars are seen to be pouring out of mumbai okay uh, once again those who have be experienced this will agree to me those who have not this is going to be a very interesting experience for you all that they start pouring out of mumbai in different directions okay in the sense they they will go for various uh, they uh, say say the middle class people will will uh, uh, say combine their plans with uh, religious outings and you'll see that the upper middle and uh, of course the affluent class would <clears throat> as per as per the availability of uh, uh, e- the economic status they would move they will catch trains they will ca- they will they will take their own cars they will take their own suvs and uh, they will they will just start moving in different directions out of pune they'll go to mahableshwar they'll go to panjgani they'll others will go to narayanpur and they will they will they will, they will go to shirdi for religious purposes okay the more lucky ones will catch flights and go to goa okay in in those two and a half days let me tell you they'll go to goa they'll relax there they'll go to diu daman okay all these places have come up basically because of the requirement tourist places have come out they'll come down to alibag Okay, they'll go. They'll come down to Lonawala, Khandala as well. Okay, so all of this is a, it's 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 become a compulsion for rather had become my personal observations. People may differ, but it was my personal observation that uh, uh, they 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 always wanted to move out of K okay, because that releases you out of the stress that you are in 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 uh, Mumbai as such the honking, the traffic, pollution, K okay, the stress of being on time, K. Okay, being on time okay and 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 the other systems that continuously keep bothering you uh, as such all of this you have to relax from this and that's that's why recreation becomes a very important component and part of your life 
uh, you know, in in a city like uh, Mumbai. And let me tell you that this culture initially was copied into Pune, and now to quite an extent, this has become a habit for many people. I won't say a large population like Mumbai, but many people in Pune also. Uh, something that uh, again, uh, some 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 part of recreation that I would see. It would may not necessarily be required to be a photo like this, but you'll see that nowadays you have these morning groups in the form of joggers group and walking group, and you have a socialization of different time. So that also recreates your mind uh, as such. Uh, another funny observation that I had with this is that the Mumbaikers come Friday and the Mumbaikers, and in fact nowadays that. That style is coming in many Pune cars as well. That uh, they would want to go out of Mumbai, but uh, they would they would like to take their uh, say say uh, say social environment with them. In the sense, they would like to wear their uh, t-shirts and they would like to wear their uh, Bermudas in case of uh, males, and of course their short pants and hot pants. Well, I don't know what these girls call them as such, and they would be wearing this, and they would be uh, displaying those very high end. Uh, goggles and caps and whatnot and they would be carrying those bottles with all those drinks and at the same time they would be they would not trust the uh, the quality of water where they go for tourists so they would be carrying their own water or they would be buying the local uh, brands of uh, mineral water as such and after all is done uh, towards some point at least once in those two days they would long for that vada pav which is so very a staple diet in uh, in Mumbai as such. So they'll move around after they've settled and they come to a saturation level as such. They will move around asking that if there is a possibility of availability of a vada pav uh, somewhere as such. So that's that's a very interesting scenario that develops around this point of recreation, uh, which is an important uh, activity that uh, that that modern man requires uh, to to at least. I, I won't say increase the efficiency, but to maintain the efficiency levels. As so uh, that is about it. And then uh, you'll see that uh, the next point, increasing efficiency uh, in, in, in that series of increasing efficiency is governments. Okay, you'll see that uh, we, we tend to elect our governments. And in fact, it is here that I'm referring to. We tend to elect our governments and we'll see that uh, in democracy, we do it by elections. And uh, we, are, we are seeing some unfortunate things happening with regards to elections that uh, there is a surge of Corona cases in West Bengal. But you'll see that the politics is, is taking so much a front seat that uh, nobody is backing out as far as phasing out the remaining phase, poll phases are concerned. And uh, they just want to push through. Okay? And I believe that the last round of polling is going to be around the uh, 30th of April. So today is what, 16th or 17th of April, another 12 days of uh, these political rounds and election rounds in West Bengal. I just pray that uh, uh, Corona cases do not escalate. In fact, it is being talked about that in in, in Jharkhand and, uh, not Jharkhand, sorry, in West Bengal and Chhattisgarh, there has been a significant rise uh, which is into multiple hundred percentages. I, yesterday I was hearing about it being at a rise of 300 to 400 percent. And if they're not careful in coming days, West Bengal is going to have to pay seriously as far as their health conditions are concerned. But then coming back to government, we require governments so that we we make things available for us. Okay? We, we share resources at an equal level. And uh, 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 that's that's the purpose for which we... Uh, elect governments, right? That uh, the government uh, will charge us with taxes and it would probably wisely use the tax money to make facilities available in the form of roads and electricity and water supply. And of course, availability in, in cases of emergency, availability of uh, various things in the sense uh, that, that, that we are facing a medical crisis, making oxygen available, uh, making uh, uh, that, that injection Okay, what was the remdesivir injection available uh, for for people around patients around making health facilities or medical facilities available? All of this is a requirement that we 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 pose our faith into the government. And if the government is good, it will increase the efficiency of the human system of that particular country, and that particular country will prosper uh, uh, as such. So. 
government is of course come at a later stage in improvement of efficiency as such okay so uh, uh, that that leaves us with uh, four new things and i would say that's the higher needs okay that would fall into a higher needs category which uh, huntington has categorized it into that includes education science religion now again uh, there would be a, there could be a lot of debate whether i should be posting uh, religion up around uh, number 7 6 7 8 or it's proper here as such now there are two aspects of religion and uh, because we would be required to speak at a length on education science religion and art and literature i purposely keep it for our next lecture that would happen possibly on next uh, thursday that's going to be uh, 22nd of uh, april so uh, that's uh, and you will see that uh, huntington says that this is how putting all of this from number 1 to number 21 we are left with the last four five ones uh, uh, and and uh, let us see in a week's time uh, what are uh, observations about governments are okay that's going to be another thing which is interesting but all of this put together you'll see that it leads to civilization and uh, uh, progress uh, as such okay so uh, that's that's what i wanted to uh, reflect on as far as uh, uh, today's uh, lecture was concerned and uh, i'll come back and let us see if you have any observations from your side on all the points that we had done uh, let me tell you that once we have done the whole of this uh, factors of human geography by huntington uh, not much would be required to know about human geography but then chapter wise we'll go into further detailing what i mean to say is huntington literally is when we say he has been very comprehensive about it yes he has been very really very comprehensive and uh, i i am take i am taking it at a, another level when i'm discussing each of his comprehensive points in the uh, historic sense of it in the modern sense of it also in uh, of human systems also uh, so if you have any observations further you could uh, just add on to the points that we have discussed or else uh, we could call it a day it's nearing 10:20 so it's time also uh, so if you have observations any questions for me uh, we could have discussions as well okay i'm waiting for your observations questions additions yeah if we ha don't have any questions we can we we're going to stop our lecture here students can leave the group thank you very much say stay safe say home and of course have a good weekend shrutika thank you very much thank you sir thank, thank you, you. Sir. have a good day have a good thank week you, thank you sir sushil thank you very much yeah